and let me ask you this, like, man, because like I said, okay, let me tell you this. When the NWO started, like, I thought the cool dudes were, like, Hall and Nash. And then when you and Scott Steiner got together, I was like, oh, shit. Like, these guys are, like, cool on another motherfucking level. Like, Big Papa Pump and Buff Bagel. Like, I love Big Papa Pump, too. Like, Dude. you guys were the fucking, like, dudes. Yes. And, like, as as jacked up. Like, Scott Steiner, like, jacked, like, a freak status, like, his arms and shit. But let me say yeah. this, because, like, nobody has mentioned this. And I don't know even know if you have. and you, But you... You're gonna know this. You had the best feature that Buff, that Scott Steiner would have loved to have. You had an extremely nice chest, no homo. Like, cause like right. when I'm looking at, I'm a bodybuilder, when and I look at the body, walk, and like you had the chest. Out, when we walked out straight ahead, I actually had him. Yeah, I actually had him. Mm -hmm. The chest, traps, pecs, abs. And my back, I had a huge back. I had him. But he would turn when we got to the camera, and Scotty was 3D. Right, right. Yeah, like I said, yeah. he had freak, like, arms, short, like, yeah. his, his so triceps. Yeah, so as soon as turned sideways, where my arms wasn't weak, but they looked weak because my chest and back were so big. Right. So, you know, you, you can't have it all, but Scott Steiner, bro, let's just call it like it is, he was number one. He was. Like, were you guys training together? Like, were you guys no, on the road? No, oh, okay. he, he went, hey, we begged him to tell us what he was doing. You know what he said to us? What? He said, I figured it out. <laughs> Y'all figure it out. <laughs> I said, Scotty. <laughs> I said, we're never going to look like you. Right. I said, I said, now, now let me be me for a minute. I go, I look second best to you, motherfucker. There's right. no doubt. Right. I said, but I do not look like you. I will be man enough to say that. I said, but damn, dude, what the fuck? What, this... I mean, we're never going to be able to beat you. Right, right. So wh wh why are you scared to tell us what you're doing different? Right. But he had, he was, he was into the growth more than we were at the time. And, 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 and you know what? I shouldn't say that. I don't know that. Right. I don't know that. Right. That's what the boys said. Right. All I know is Scott Steiner's got incredible genetics. Right. He is unbelievably genetic freak. And he never, ever did legs. Right. And his legs and calves right. were incredible. Well, I, I, so, I, have you ever said, like, if you were, like, what you're training or psych, were you on, like, on a psych? I mean, I got to say, you got to assume you got to be on some gas there. So, like, have you oh, ever yeah. said, yeah. Because, I mean, I've heard, like, Lex Luger said he had, like, the most simple cycle, which was test and D bowl. And that's, like, those are amazing. D I love D bowl. Like, well, and, I love you know, D bowl. But I, I would do test, DECA, and D bowl. Yeah, and you you know, so, and, and I know two, like two oral, two orals, and, and I mean, I mean, two injections and an oral. You 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 that's that that's back, daddy, and they're safe drugs. Right. Uh, D ball is very safe for you. Uh, Deca is the safest, and it's good for your joints. And testosterone is what your body already produces. Exactly. So when when all of a sudden. <laughs> You know, Tess went from, oh, my God, he's on testosterone, he's on steroids. Mm. And that went to, wait a minute, everybody needs to be on, you know, low T, low T. All you started seeing was all these commercials about low T, right. low T. So, you know, you went to a doctor and you got it prescribed legally and and that, that's all it was but if you see any if you see any baseball player that plays in the dead of summer that's got some size on him he's on fucking 
something. Right. He's taking a little bit of tests to keep his weight on him. He's taking a little bit of something, bro. And with that, keep in mind, we were we were Turner. So we had to get Eric to go, look, bro, you got to get them off our back if you want me and Scotty to look like this. Right, right. So he did. He got them off our back. And, um, you know, but still, it just makes people feel better to say, oh, they're all gas, you know. Well, well let, me, let me add this because, like, a lot of people that, you know, don't know or you know about bodybuilding and, and you know this buff but i'm saying it for the people watching like you can't just take steroids and look like buff bagwell or scott steiner no. like, it, like i can inject a billion steroids in your ass like um, every steroid ever made and put a, a lot of it inside you and you will and never look like if any, scott steiner's arm. yeah you're not gonna look like scott or buff bagwell like not even a little bit because if you're not training right you're not eating right you're not recovering genetics, genetics, genetics. yeah it's a lot it's, it's a lot of variables there you know it really is is and people don't realize that they think you put a shot in your ass and magically poof you look like Bob Bagwell that's that's not the fucking case right at all and you know that and and really I think over the years the last few years even people have realized that you just you just can't do that I would I would give them Anything I would pay for their own, I would pay for their cycle, and at the end of their cycle, they would not look like me. Right, and, and Buff, I, I know you'll <laughs> agree with this statement. It's like you don't even, you shouldn't even touch that shit until you've like got the most out of your body naturally, and right. then you hit it off to get to the next level. You know, that's 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 the whole key. Is it's. There's like, for example, there's there's a good friend of mine that I won't say his name, but a good friend of mine that does very well with his testosterone readings are very high. And I was like, and he asked me all the time, he goes, what do you think I should do? I go, dude, you look great. I said, once you put that dart in you, you're going to be putting that dart in you for the next 20 years. I said, now to me, I get off on that. To me, that's cool because I just know that that's going to keep me going to the gym, keep me, you know, dedicated, keep me looking like buff. And that's why it's important. But but at the same time, it, it is a, a little bit of a game changer of, you know, when you, you know, start getting down around that two or 300, you know, um, mark, which 200 is the lowest, 1100 is the highest. Mm. And, it, you know, and it just, it just, it just, you know, you just got to know what you want. And you got to know your body enough to know what you're doing, along with genetics, how you look already, and knowing that no matter what you fucking did, your chest was not going to look like mine. Right, right. Well, yeah, that's Period. what that's what I was. I want to make that mention that that. Like you had a much better chest than Scott Steiner, and he was bigger. Yeah. So it's just, I mean, it's not like Scott Steiner's not training chest. He just couldn't, yeah. he didn't have that genetically ability to grow his chest. It's, like for me too, look. my chest is like my best feature. I had to stop training my chest because it's like built, and I started doing other shit, you know? So right. well, that, that, that's smart because I, I actually, instead of stopping, what I would do. And I kept my chest and back rolling because, see, when you got the back I had, you remember my back was huge, dude. I mean, if you saw me in a battle royal, you could pick me out every time because mm -hmm. my back was gigantic. Mm -hmm. And, but still, you had to have that 
But when you had those two chest and backs, when you had chest and back, your arm is going to look a little bit thin. Right, right. So I chose to train arms twice a week. Where and that was how we got by with it, and still looked good enough to where I could you know, get by with it, you know. Right. So, but you just got you just got to gamble and go with the best you can, and and you know just just keep lean. If you're lean, you know as good as I do. When you're lean, your arms are gonna get lean, and 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 you're you know there's gonna be things that are gonna get lean, you know, and not like lean good like lean you know skinny right, you know? right. and and you have you got to catch that fine line and you got to ride that fine line you know and you got to figure out what was best for you of how you looked you know and so that's how it came out how how's your training now like are you like were you are you okay like health wise like injuries like over the years of wrestling oh because... god I, i'm 100 percent. i'm oh. a, i'm 250 i'm 250 right now oh nice i'm 250 and really i don't want to be 250 um i lied to be when i in my heyday i was 228 when i looked my best and buff bagel was shredded and looked his best he was 228. But if I can, you know, have abs at 250, so be it. But the problem is I'm not being I'm not being able to do cardio real good because of my knee. But as soon as I'm able to do that, you know, that's how pro bodybuilders do it. The bigger you can get and do cardio then you're going to be bigger and better and you're going to be stronger and tougher, you know, and that's, that's how it is. So you got to just, you got to just, it's, 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 it's constantly playing with it. It's constantly dabbling with it constantly, you know, right. and, and then just making, making it, making you the number one you can be, you know, Right, right. Yeah, I mean, you're still looking good. It's just all about consistency, you know. And, yes, brother. It uh, is. So, it is. 